Greetings, graduates. I am Dr. Regina Stanbeck Stroud, the Chancellor of the Peralta Community College District. And on the behalf of the Peralta Community College District Board of Trustees, the community we serve, the professional staff, the esteemed faculty, and extraordinary administrative leadership team, all educators who played a role in getting you to this point, I want to welcome you to the 2020 commencement ceremony. And while I have your attention and hopefully for the next three minutes, I want to convey how important you are. This society needs you. For what you ask, we need you to have a critical consciousness about the way of the world and how you dedicate your life's work to making it better for others. We need you to stand up and speak out to preserve this planet so that future generations behind you so that future generations can thrive. We need you to value science, the arts, humanities, social sciences as significant factors that should inform our way of being. And we need you to have a purpose. It's a purpose that would be informed by people that you care for, by the passions you have and the lived realities of your own lives, but it is a purpose nonetheless that is far greater than yourself. You see, you are graduating at a time where there are those that are in some of the highest and most powerful offices of the land who are literally debating what has been known as settled science. They are normalizing issues in society that had been rendered unacceptable, such as racism and bigotry and the inhumane public policy that separates families and issues that exacerbate human misery. Many of them are educated, but they have allowed ideology to override their educated selves. So I will ask you to take care and to be aware, to use your education to make the world better. Yes, you are educated. You have the ability to articulate your knowledge in ways that serve you and others. However, to do so, you have to have a critical consciousness in this globalized context, some cultural and social and racial literacy I want you to understand and to acknowledge the power of language. And I want you to understand and acknowledge the language of power. That's what you must remember. If you to use your education to make a difference in this world, to make sure that it even mattered that you were on this earth in the first place, an intense understanding of the concepts of power and the social political underpinnings that impact our realities are a prerequisite not only for your success, but for our survival. Here's another memorable part. I ask you to take a look. Think of the faculty who served you in this journey. If you have seen it, think of them in their academic regalia as I am wearing now. This is what it looks like to give a lifetime work, commitment, scholarship, and service to making sure that you have this moment in time to serve in something other than yourselves. So take a moment and consider the sheer selflessness of this type of commitment that the faculty have made to you. Another thing, you did not get here alone. You had help along the way from someone friends, families, strangers. Now it's time for you to consider helping others. Start a small scholarship, even if it's just a hundred bucks that buys a book or some class material for someone else who's coming up behind you. Contact Lenise Jones over in this Peralta Community College District Foundation office and pay it forward as you leave us behind. Remember this college. Think of us as you make career choices. Come back and be professors and directors and coordinators and vice presidents and public safety officers and facilities staff and classified staff and auxiliary staff and even presidents and chancellors. Come back because we so desperately need and appreciate you in order to stand up here the next year and the next year and the next year in service of those who will follow you. Finally, leave us with this idea in mind this nation of immigrants is already great because people used their strength and education, no matter what level, formal or informal,
to work hard, to challenge the status quo, and to stand up to injustice. People looked at the issues of their times and gave their blood, sweat, and tears, and hearts and souls so that many could learn, so that you could learn, so that you could live together, walk together, talk, eat, play together. Moreover, believe it or not, these rights and privileges are not set in stone. If you fail to pay attention, to act, you can lose the very thing that lives were lost to get for you in the first place. And that is your democracy, your freedom, many of us take for granted. So we are witnessing firsthand what it looks like to deny the humanity of wholesale communities, of people based on their immigration status. And this nation was built by immigrants who voluntarily and involuntarily arrived at our shores. It is great because of immigrants. Let us not forget what it looks like when we are kind, when we are caring, when we are empathetic and compassionate to no end. That's what it looks like when we are educated as well. If you have the right and the ability to do so, then vote. Vote as if your lives and the lives of people that you love depend on it, because it does. I wish you all the success and the happiness you deserve. Congratulations to all of you, class of 2020.